Hey everybody, welcome to the pop-up studio. I'm Matthew Reinhardt. I make pop-up books and um, I write children's books and I illustrate children's books. And welcome to my channel. Um, and welcome to my studio here. Uh, but good news, good news, good news. Uh, my schedule is finally loosening up. So I've kind of figured out the work-life balance thing uh, much better. And I've permanently carved out time in my schedule moving forward to make more videos, more pop-up crafts, more paper craft tutorials, more art projects, all that kind of stuff to share with you for free here on YouTube. So um, I'm excited for that. I really am. I'm, I'm excited to get back into it. Maybe I'll give you a little tour. Would you like to see a few things in the studio? Let's check it out. All right, everybody. This is just my workspace. See, there's my desk that you always see me at. I have a standing desk. And there is my other desk because I'm because I'm, I like two desks. <laughs> I like, uh, oh, there, there's my uh, pop-up masterclass. Oh, his head's broken. We're always working on something new. There's a bunch of new stuff. Ooh, I can't show you. Um, these are just some of my books that I have, uh, that I've made over the years. I've, I don't know how many different books I've done over the years. Look at all the different, these are kind of cool because they're, they're like, all the different languages of some of these dinosaur books. See, like all the different languages. I can't, I don't even know what, how many different ones there are. Oh, and these are flip pops, which um, are really fun. I'll show you a little bit more about those in a bit. So you can see, you know, this is this is the main part of my studio space. This is my other uh, helper's desk. And this GraphTech um, machine is actually a cutter plotter. So uh, it cuts out the pieces um, we usually use it just to cut out um, white prototype pop-ups, but um, we can always use it for, for color. It's a little bit messy. And you can see I have a little bit of a collection. So these are my bot bots, which are, are uh, miniature transformers. They're actually related transformers. Um, this is one of my transformer collections. So this is all of my most recent uh, transformers. I know it looks like a mess, but I swear they're sort of organized. See, they're sort of organized. There's, let's see, can we see? Oh, there's Optimus. There's the, there's the guy in Bumblebee, at the middle of it all. But we, and this gigantic guy here is, his name is Unicron. He's he turns into a planet that eats other planets. Go figure. Go figure. You know. Um, but yeah. So this is just some of my Transformer collection. These are like the modern ones, like in the last five to seven years, um, uh, and some brand new ones. So whenever I get new stuff. I, I like take out some and put in new. Okay, so I'm gonna share a secret with you in my studio. So here we go, here we go. This is my secret transformer closet. Well, it's not a secret anymore. Um, so this is my secret transformer closet um, with all my vintage uh, transformers in it. This is like, whenever I'm having a bad day, like whenever I, I just come in here and I look at things, I go, oh yeah, this makes me happy. So yeah, like this is my, so there's, you know, all kinds of really cool stuff in here. Um, and some of these were, when I was a kid, I had some of these. Well, I was actually, when these came out, I was probably a little older than a kid, <laughs> but, um, but I still love them. So um, there's some fun stuff in here, but these bring me, these bring me a lot of joy. I love, I love Transformers. I love, uh, also love Star Wars figures, but that collection is somewhere else. It's not out here in the studio. I used to have these animals when I was a kid. They were, um, Britain's zoo animals. And so I used to go to a toy store in Iowa City when I was a little kid. My Aunt Carol used to take me. And they there was a there was a, a, a display case kind of like this, and it would have the animals all in, in it. Um, and um, so uh, I would go in and say, oh, I really want the elephant, or, you know, I want the turtle. Okay, here we are back to my desk. You know, you guys have seen this before, right? But I want to share with you some new books that are coming out. Look at that, the ultimate pop-up Dungeons and Dragons book. So this book is really cool. Um, it is a huge pop-up book, look there. It actually opens up into a giant pop-up map. I've done these books before and um, there are pop-ups on every page, huge pop-ups. What's really cool about this is there's actually a pop-up 20-sided die, right? So you can pop it up, it's right here on the first page. You gotta get started with it. See, it's right here, you open it up, and you click it together, and then you can roll the die. And um, there are all these different numbers on all the different pull tabs, and that will tell you which one to, to, to 
open. So it's really fun. There's on each spread, there's probably about 10 to 20 different pull lift the flaps um, and adventures that your characters can take. So this book just came out. Here's another one here. This, okay, this was so much fun. So if you don't know, Little Mermaid is my favorite Disney animation. Um, and this, I've done Disney Princess before. Look at that, that's so cool. I love this it, because it, it's like a peek hole. You can peek inside and you can see her going, part of that world inside there. So um, this is a, a little bit more for younger readers. And it just tells the story of Ariel and her adventures under the sea. Oh, look at that, she changed. Oh, I'm a mermaid. Hi, I'm not a mermaid. Um, so this book also came from Inside Editions and there can there will be links to, you get it at, you know, all, all your uh, booksellers. So this one just came out this spring. This one, oh, this just came out today actually. It's called Paws, Claws, and Snapping Jaws. So I had another book that came out that was called Teeth, Tentacles, and Tail Fins. And this is a much better, my, my um, editor, his name is Paul. He came up with Paws, Claws, and Snapping Jaws. I thought it was so great. So this is about rainforest predators. You can find all the rainforest predators on the scene. Ooh, look out, look out that, that, that wild pig. You better watch out, uh, the tiger got him. Uh, uh. So this is a really fun uh, book about um, nature and about um, uh, rainforest animals. Ooh, look at this, this I love this one. This, this gigantic um, anaconda. And he's, he's captured a capybara, look at that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's coming out to get you. Oh, look at this, look at that harpy eagle. I'm coming to get you. And this book is cool because it has all kinds of like pull out things so you can explore. This has a pull out booklet so you can learn about all different kinds of animals. What, what do we have here? Oh, big old, big old leopard coming at you. All right, now this one was a complete surprise to me to be able to do. Um, this was, uh, you know who that is, don't you? Everyone loves Target, right? Everyone loves Target. This is Bullseye. And um, I got to work on a book with Target to make a pop-up story for Bullseye. And I even got to create a new character named Spot. That's uh, Bullseye's uh, ladybug friend. So this is a pop-up book about, uh, well, it's just about Bullseye being such a great guy. He goes around and he just shares love and friendship w uh, along the way. And you get to explore inside of his house. So this is a fun pop-up book. All right, so this is one of the big ones that I worked on last the year. Well, it came out last year. Um, and this is from Abrams Books, and they're amazing to work with. And this is uh, Marvel superheroes. This Spider-Man pop-up was in my head for probably about 10 years. Like, just the thought of making it. I knew kind of what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to have him sort of flick out his, um, his arm and shoot a web. So there is all kinds of fun transforming pops in this. This is my favorite, actually, from the whole one. So I love The Incredible Hulk. Um, I think we all kind of get a little, you know, crazy and want to like bust out. Um, this this is actually based on a toy that I remember from like the the 90s, the Toy Biz um, uh, uh, Hulk, and he breaks out of a, a bond. So there's you know Bruce Banner going, like, oh god, and the Hulk just bursts out. So there's a little pull tab here that you can pull, and there's all kinds of little pull tabs that make all the different heroes um, ha activate. Uh, Look at Iron Man, like that is awesome, he suits up. Um, oh, this one's really cool too, this one's really cool. The, the Fantastic Four, I always love them. And watch this, you pull one tab and they all transform. So this is, oh, us before, then the, they, they go into space and kablammo, they're all heroes. Um, I also love, well, the art, uh, all the different artists that worked on this, but um, look at this, there's Doctor Doom, he's like, ah, ah, ah I will destroy you. Um, I make all these sounds. Oh, look at the X-Men. This was so cool. I used to love that cartoon. Um, and then this one is the killer. It won't fit in the, it's Galactus. I hunger, I hunger. I, I need to get something to eat. All right, so these, this is called a flip pop. And flip pops, we, we're, we created them. They're like a cross between a figure and a book. They have a book part that's back here. And it's all about, this is Hermione, so it's a really cute version of Hermione. And see the book part just goes right in, right? just like that. 
And see, see this little hole here? You stick your finger in and it pops up and changes. So you have a character, she looks like this. She's like, oh, hello. And, uh, oh, hi, Harry. And then you push it down in the back and it opens up and it completely changes the character. And you can display it either way. See, it's just this. It just goes back and forth like that. So we came up with these, oh man, like a year and a half ago, this idea. Now there are different ones in the series. You can get them at Inside Editions. You can also get them, um, I believe it, um, you can get them at other booksellers as well. Um, so uh, we created two. We created um, Harry Potter and um, Hermione. And we also did uh, two for uh, DC Comics. So we did Batman and Joker. Um, you'll be able to see, you can see all the different ones and they all transform and change and you can collect them all and they have a cool window box. And we've got more coming. There's more, there's some Star Wars ones coming and um, we got a couple more Harry Potter uh, ones coming and we, uh, we have some other, oh, I think there's even one for Stranger Things. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, looking at the studio. You know, you can see it's just like, this is where I am most of the time working. So I like to have stuff, you know, that I like all around me. Um, I, I um, uh, every once in a while, you know, I do get a break so I can go look at my, my toys. Uh, everyone, so they make me very happy. Again, I want to thank everyone out there for sticking around, and I can't wait to share more with you in the next coming weeks and, and months and years um, ahead. So, uh, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to hit like. And if you like, you know, want to see more, hit subscribe and, and hit the bell to be notified when the next one goes up. And be sure to comment below and let me know like what you'd like me to, to do next, what, what kind of stuff you'd like to see. And this is Matthew Reinhardt saying stay crafty and keep it popping. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.